Well, um... I wasn't anticipating my game to crash. It's been a while since I've had a blue screen of death. So, I don't think we actually finished the draft. Yeah, the game crashed right about when the free agency signing started. So, I've got... Okay, at least... At least the staff is still together. I think that means that THF is finally starting. Nope. So, uh... Yeah, I was not expecting that. Welcome back, everyone. Uh... My game crashed on me. Actually, my whole system did. So we're skipping ahead to the first year draft again. And hopefully, uh... Hopefully our guy is still our guy is still out there and ready to be acquired. Lesson learned: save more frequently during the off season. At least we know that Sakamoto is available to be traded. time we've had a game crash. First time in a while we've had a BSOD though. That was uh that was unexpected. Then again I don't think anyone actually plans for a BSOD. You know what I mean. First year player draft. Fingers crossed Date is still available for us. Offer a minor league deal to Hammond again. draft, try to remember who my picks were, Marines win the draft lottery this time. So far, my guy's still there. Date, welcome back. All right, then we go grab Yamada, the pitcher. Then we get Yamamoto, the reliever.
get Morikawa, Mutant the first. Okay, I remember some of this. We don't have to completely roll back the tape. Then we get Taniguchi. Umemoto. Okay, so the guy we previously took at that spot is not there anymore. We can get uh, Miyuta instead. And then Mukasa. And then best available elsewhere, which is Yoshihara. Okay, draft picks successfully remembered. Saving the game. <laughs> Alright, I like Busenitz as the closer. I still think there's an opportunity to do slightly better there. So after all that fuss, we're okay. Sidebar, uh, I recently borrowed some of Roger Angel's baseball writing from my local library. Even back in 1964, they were complaining that the game was home focused on the home run ball. Even back then. Some things never change. All right, okay. Um, so Heat Eye's available. Nice, I rock this. I need to find a time to get back to the Sky Dome. I've only been to one game this year and one game last year. Ooh. Okay, what does Chiba Latte want for Kuniyoshi? A Royal? Okay, that's an easy deal. The fifth isn't too good, but that is A and an option. I know Kaino is about to head from Strong. Uh, let's go here. We have Kuniyoshi and Hirai. Hirai at least has more of a righty off force. Both are four pitch guys. So Kuniyoshi has the issue with walks. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely worse on that front. But compared to Boos. Yeah, you know what? We don't need another arm that badly. I think we may actually stand pat at the uh
at these uh, winter meetings. Ooh, hold up. Tetsuto Yamada just came on the market. Oh, they want Awaihara Kimura Kobayashi or Kozono. It's, sorry, Swallows, not happening. Who does... Alright, so the price has gone up on Sakamoto, it seems. Take a scouting report on Tani just to see what the Giants like in him. Okay, can we not crash this time? Still playing with the uh, the mush ball here in NPB. So Tani, okay, Tani is that bad. So I don't know why the Giants want him. No different signings. Looks like everyone went to the same spot. Oh, slightly different. Asamura went to the Spirit again. Pacific League does have the DH. Makes a lot of sense. Wow, the Jays let Vladdy Guerrero Jr. walk. That is... That's unfortunate for them. Seiya can still play third. No, 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 we're not doing that. All right, only 21 players on the Hall of Fame ballot this year. Uh, we're got to go for Ballantin, Darvish, Shinosuke Abe, Iguchi, Kazmatsui, Ramirez, Toritani, Kawa. Kuroda. And Kokubo. Let's see who gets nominated. Speaking of Vladimir Ballantine, uh, I think it's safe to say his record is safe. Munitaka Murakami in the real MPB has been stuck on 55 for the last few games. Uh, also, by the way, he's tied Sada Haru O and Tuffy Rhodes and Alex Cabrera at 55. Like, holy snot boogers. He needs one more to get sole possession of second place in the all-time single season home run leaderboard. That is just bonkers. Alright, Takehara might actually belong up with the big club as a utility man. Wait until uh, spring training to make that call. Including whether or not we want to keep Winkle and burn a foreign player slot on a backup catcher. Considering we have other options, none of whom bat as well, to be fair. Uh, that's maybe one reason to keep Winkle in the lineup. Alright. 
Once again, looking at third baseman. Tyga Tysinger. It's cheap. He's a local. And he only wants 270k. Yeah, well, let, let's at least take a flyer on him. There's literally no such thing as a bad one-year deal. See if that actually goes through. Pitching wise, there's a lot of options out there if I wanted to. Hmm. Yao Jin Li as a potential bullpen guy. I mean, I'm also content to run Busanets out as a closer. Yoshikawa's been waiting long enough for his opportunity to pitch with a big club. The only real specky option here is Maniwa. Our rotation is going to be Kozuno and Kobayashi forever in a day. Amen. And Chatwood will be available. We'll free up a foreign player slot in due time. Like next season. Depending on where Kondo goes, that'll settle whether or not we trade for Sakamoto. And if my computer crashes again, we're just going to call it a day, basically. Some of the, the bullpen guys are going to the Swallows, a trio of them, all at 750k. Taisuke Kondo to the Eagles, getting paid, also getting Suguru Iwasaki. Kamizato to the Giants, questionable when you just signed Tatsumi. So far we're doing the best by not doing anything. As fun as it would be to bring Kenta Maeda back, I don't think he gets into our rotation. Not the way it's constructed. We're just inching forward. I think when we get to spring training, we're going to call it a, a day. Well, you know what? We'll zoom through spring training. We'll just do the opening day. I know this is a long stream. Trust me, I know. These off-seasons need time to, to plow through. Also, another uh, affiliate streamer looks like he's just, or they're just starting up. Ner Shabayinko. Major League Managers series. All right, Brandon Tiger Tizinger joins the team. Finally, a right-handed bat to give Shimada some time off.
even if my, my coach doesn't want to actually bench him. Hmm. We'll see about that. Big free agents still aren't budging. Let's get to the, the Hall of Fame results. I'll keep Spence, because he's basically going to be Tyler Chatwood's backup if uh, Chatwood pops a, a disc again. Very quiet offseason for us. Next season is going to be fun, because we've got money to play with. This season, not so much. Oh, that's weird. Sorry to hear you're locked out of your favorite browser there, uh, I rock this. Seiya Suzuki still wants too much money. Man, having him come in to play third base would be kind of hilarious. I mean, he'd only be slightly worse. Then Kondo. But then I guess you put him in the outfield, and then you have to figure out what we do with Hosokawa and Tsutsugo, and... You know what, I rock this? Might be worth double-checking on, uh... Twitch's support forums. I mean, you're a streamer, too. Like, you, we do have a channel for this sort of thing. Let's make sure that I haven't missed any trade logs. Yano for Nakazaki, who was then cut and then signed. Go figure. Oh yeah, so some of the off-season deals I made the last time we tried to sim through didn't go through. That is curious. make it to the Hall of Fame. No! Ramirez is getting close, though. Yu Darvish got 50% in his first year. And it looks like Ichiro did make it in to the Hall of Fame 
in Cooperstown. On the third ballot. Okay. Okay. No, we're not trading away Kei Tomori. Injured as often as he's injured, we have a Waihara for just that reason. I'm okay with sending like a package over. For Sakamoto. If they're willing to eat some cash. Clearly, we can't ask them to eat that much cash. Bullpen guy or a bullpen guy and a catcher for a future third baseman, future Hall of Famer in Hayato Sakamoto because the Giants do not want to have to pay that last year. Okie dokie. Keep that parked. Maybe this is how Mitsukuni Tanaka can still have a refinement year in the minors. We'll use Taiga Tysinger instead. Alright, are we starting the season on the road or no? Starting at home against the Swallows. So we may need to do another small stream just to get through spring training. Kondo still isn't coming down from his ass. got a trade lined up. I think it's going to be hilarious. Oh, apparently the, the asking price has gone up. What happened? Clear the deal. Yeah, it looks like uh, we may have waited too long.
Uh, Carlos Arroyo and Fukuzawa. For Hayato Sakamoto at 60% retained. Do it. Modi's going to have to give up his number. Modi to nine. Miyamoto. Five. Sakamoto gets number six. One of the greatest players ever to wear Giants Orange is now in Bay Stars Blue. Ogasawara goes on 60 day. Tysinger moves to the outfield. We'll need to see if Mitsukuni Tanaka can actually have a good uh, spring training before we actually settle on him. But yeah, now we got some le some righty pop in the lineup. All right, we are going to wrap up here. I feel like I've taken up enough of your day. We're going to go right into Nersha Bainko. Remember, the raid phrase is shine bright, starlight. Shout it in the chat when we hop in. Golly, it's been a, a long stream session. I'm going to just plow through the preseason. I'll fill you in when we actually get to the end of it or uh, on how spring training goes. For next stream, it will be... Opening day 2027 next weekend. And we will have a giveaway, fingers crossed. Time is precious. And I'm grateful that you've chosen to spend some of yours with me today, including waiting for my laptop to reboot after a blue screen of death. Fire Age, take us out. Have a great one, everyone.